Vintage Fashion here and welcome to another video. So we've got our first lot of cleanup crew or inverts for the mini salt water tank. Um, we will be getting some more inverts, some um, hermit crabs and stuff. But in this video we've got some turbo snails and another coral to unbox. So we'll quickly, I'll quickly open the box just so you can't see my address <laughs> and then we'll show you what we've got uh, from the same company that I ordered the last coral, so we saw the last coral unboxing from the same company, a decent uh, soft coral this time but an easy soft coral and obviously our turbo snails. Uh, we're so close to a thousand subscribers on the channel now as well so a massive thank you to everybody who subscribed and if you like this kind of content um aquarium content or tarantula content then uh it'd be awesome if you could um drop a like leave a comment and subscribe to the channel because we're so close to a thousand subscribers now and once we hit a thousand subscribers there'll be awesome um awesome videos coming out uh, we'll be buying more tarantulas um so there'll be tons of tarantula unboxings once we hit a thousand subscribers um more salt water i getting a bigger salt water tank more coral unboxings potential um fish tours as well so if we, once we hit that a thousand there's going to be a lot more stuff coming so like i said it'd be awesome if you could drop a like leave a comment and subscribe if you like tarantula content saltwater content or just general aquarium content so let's put the camera around and take a look at these turbo snails and coral so from the same um, shop again www.pilotbox.co.uk and we did order a purple stylophora but that um, coral ended up not looking good so they didn't ship it so we got a bird of paradise coral and some tortuous snails. Stylophone box again. Um, great packaging. Newspaper. Heat pack. A lovely heat pack. We've got two snails. Heat pack still warm. So one heat pack there. And one warm heat pack there. So they're... Um, their packing's definitely spot on. And as you can see, they come in two bags that we've got to acclimate. Slight problem, it's broke. So I'm gonna to have to figure out, yeah, it's snapped. So when I acclimate it, and obviously cold dipped it, I'm gonna to have to one part place on one part of the rock and the broken part, I'll stick a bit of glue on, stick that onto the rock as well. So, Hopefully it should heal properly and grow properly, but I've never had a coal. This is the first coal I've had from them that's um, snapped. But there's plenty of places on the rock for it to um, go. So we'll have two parts. Um, we'll, put, we'll pull it off the frag plug, stick it onto the rock in two different sections and hope it grows. And obviously our little clean-up crew, because we're in that diatom phase. Our little snails, you can see two little turbo snails there. Round shells. These snails that can actually flip themselves upside, flip themselves over. Looks like we've got three, or three. We've got three. Obviously these can, if these, these snails can actually flip themselves over if they fall upside down. As you can see, we're at the stage of diatoms and stuff no coralline algae yet but all the water parameters are spot on so corals are doing fine duncan coral candy cane all the corals are doing fine so we get the cleanup crew in there to start cleaning the water parameters are spot on so hopefully we start getting some coralline algae soon and obviously we'll get some hermit crabs in here as well and get some of this substrate cleaned up as well get some of this rock cleaned up and we can start hopefully getting coronal algae so for, right, further ado 
we will acclimate the snails and the coal and then we should glue some coal to the rocks and show you where I placed it it's not that much of a rock so there's only one or two more bits of coal I want to get um, I want to get obviously get a hammer coral um, for maybe the bottom of the rock um, for the back I want to get for the back I want to get a Kenya tree or Garnapora that's I stick to the back and it grows a nice carpet on the back I'm not getting uh, loads of coals obviously that's, that's still got to grow fully Duncan's still got to grow fully but I'm going to cover this rock uh, as many places as I can with coal without the coals touching and stinging each other once we get coralline algae in here, this rock's going to look amazing. It is live rock. It's Fijian live rock. So, let's get everything acclimated. And get coal dipped. So we've got our coal dip. NT Labs coal dip. We've got our coal cutters. Standard super glue. I used this super glue. And stuck them that to the rock. So let's get everything acclimated. Once the coal's in, the snails are in, we'll do a time lapse and have a look at the tank. Unfortunately, I can't take it off the frag plug today um, or glue it because I've run out of super glue. So that's the, that's the broken bit and that's the normal bit it's in its cold dip at the moment. So what I have to do is try and place it on the rock in uh, any position for now and try and get that broken bit into any uh, a gap in the rock then when I get some super glue glue it to the rock but I'm sure it'll do for a week or two until we um so I can get some super glue just in the just doing the coal dips making sure there's no pests obviously this is part of when you get new coals always coal dip them just to make sure, like I said, you get no pests and stuff. You don't really want no pests and stuff in your tank when you've got new coals. But like I said, when I get some super glue, I will super glue it to the rock. But for now, we'll just try and find a place where we can stick it. Stick it, then like I said, when I get some super glue, I'll take it off the frag plug. And put it to the rock, but it's a nice colour. Obviously, it'll colour up more when it's settled. And obviously the snails are now acclimating. Which ain't too bad. So, the snails have been acclimated. They're in a bowl. Uh, just a clear bowl. And every 5 to 10 minutes I am putting little bits of tank water into here to get them acclimated. <laughs> They're currently small but they'll get a lot bigger. I can see what I call turbo snails. Look at them. <laughs> oh, they're jokes. Look at them. I can see what I call turbo snails. Damn, they're quick. <laughs> they look funny. He's attached to a shell for some reason. I can see why they're called turbo snails. These things are jokes. I can't wait to stick these in the tank and watch them go around. They look hilarious.
So as always everybody, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see some more tarantula videos or aquarium videos, then it would be awesome if you could subscribe, leave a like and leave a comment as it really just helped the channel out. And stay tuned for some awesome videos coming soon. Bye for now everybody.